Mason Greenwood used to be a name associated with one of the brightest talents to come out of the Manchester United Academy, and his career has been a roller coaster. But if we look at his form in the present day, he has scored five goals in three games so far in Ligue 1, statistically living up to his expectations. So let's take a look at the insane comeback of Mason Greenwood. His football career began in the Manchester youth system, and at every level he was the star of the show, but he didn't start to get noticed by the world until he was about 17 years old. At this time, he had scored almost 20 goals in 15 games in one season for Man United's under-18s, and made appearances for England at the same youth level. Jose Mourinho thought he could make good use of him on the wing, and he was brought to start regularly training with the first team in the beginning of the 2018-19 season. Fast forward to January though, and he would finally make his competitive debut against PSG in the Champions League. On comes 17-year-old Mason Greenwood. He's replacing Ashley Young. A final throw of the dice. Remember the name, Mason Greenwood. For a grand total of four minutes. Although he didn't get the chance to play for very long, Manchester United's interim manager, Ralph Ragnick, only had good things to say about him. Technically, what all the, all the things that he can do with the ball are outstanding. We need to develop him physically and mentally to become the strongest version of himself. It was good news for him though because he got his foot in the door and he started to be seen more and more in the starting 11 as he spent more time training with the first team. Four days after his UCL debut, he made his Premier League debut and became Man United's youngest ever debutant at 17 years old. The reception of his presence in the first team was generally well received by everybody in and around the club. So in the 2019-20 season, he made his mark on Old Trafford, 17 goals in 49 appearances. What a start to his Premier League career. He was only 18 years old at this time. The thing that excites me is what everyone in the United Academy has been saying about this kid for two years now. He has Ballon d'Or potential. All his coaches saying he's the best finisher they've ever seen. Let's see where he is in four years time. His breakthrough into the first team was the catalyst for his career and his market value grew over 40 million euros from the time of his debut to the end of the 2019-20 year. And it would only get better. 2020-21 wasn't as good for him on the score sheet, but he did find more and more minutes. The Man United fan base had made him the face of the club, some saying he would even reach heights as high as Ronaldo did in the 2000s. Fans were patiently waiting for his form to just go parabolic, only it would take longer than expected. No more training and no further matches for Mason Greenwood. But first, Manchester United striker Mason Greenwood has been charged with attempted rape, engaging in controlling and coercive behaviour and assault occasioning. It wasn't long after these allegations that Nike terminated Greenwood's deal with them and EA removed him from all FIFA titles. Everything that he had worked his life for was gone in the matter of just a few days. On the 2nd of February, Greenwood was released on bail pending further investigation and the alleged victim requested that police drop charges of assault and attempted you know what. Even though he was free of criminal charges and wasn't guilty in the eyes of the law, the damage had already been done to his reputation in the football world. I respect Manchester United like everyone else does, but if they play that man, then they're losing probably all my respect to be honest, because if I were a Manchester United fan and Mason Greenwood made his way back into the team, I would never watch that football team again. Fast forward to August of 2023, his future in Manchester was still being determined, but the decision was eventually made he would not return to the club to play, but he would still be there on contract. That would allow United to help him find a new club, but the options were very limited. Even when Ten Hag was asked about his future, he was very tight-lipped about how the club were moving forward with Greenwood. Were you expecting Mason Greenwood to be available to you? Did you want him to be? As I said, I only have statements about uh, our performance, our squad, uh, how, where we have to improve. But finally, in the summer of 2023, Mason Greenwood would finally get his breakthrough. Yet we have some breaking news uh, just reaching us. It's concerning Mason Greenwood. He has parted ways with Manchester United. Uh, Hatafe have confirmed this evening. It's a season-long loan. Getafe CF. They came forth a month after his charges were dropped and offered the possibility of a loan deal for the 2023-24 season. And in response, the Getafe fans were ecstatic. He sold a club record amount of shirts in the first 24 hours of him signing and his past charges were not a calamity in the eyes of Getafe. They just saw him for his footballing ability. Club with a spine, who didn't bow in front of negative media and haters. As a United fan, I still hope he comes back to us after his loan move. He is still better than our terrible wingers. But before I get to Mason Greenwood's Getafe debut, I please ask that you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below. It would really help me out. Thank you. He made his debut against Osasuna in the last 15 minutes of the game and honestly he looked pretty good for not playing football in the last 12 months. It took him a few more appearances for him to score his first goal in professional football since January of 2022, scoring against Celta Vigo. The first goal for any player at a new club is important and it seemed like Green was regaining his confidence back as a footballer and began to play really, really well. For example, he scored and assisted in a 3-0 win over Sevilla and was a part of all three goals in Getafe's 3-1 win over UD Almeria, a brace and an assist. Greenwood has his moments, but the one problem that his game had was his consistency. 
There were glimpses throughout the season where he would play exceptionally, but every high would have its low, and he just struggled to stay on a straight path. By the end of the 2023-24 season, he had scored a total of 10 goals and assisted 6 in all competitions, getting back to the level he was at in 2021. However, his market value hardly reflected that, him only being able to recoup 50% of his peak value. So when he returned to Manchester United, they had no need for him there. So what was his next move? Well, at 22 years old and considering his past, there weren't many places for him in England to stay. So he would have to look to greater Europe for his next destination. Another loan move was not really on the books because Green was looking for some sustainability for his football future and he would end up finding it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the United Stand as there is more breaking news and it is that Mason Greenwood to Marseille is here we go. Uh, hasn't gone down universally well in France. The mayor of Marseille has called it a disgrace. Some of the Marseille fans are not particularly happy, Simon. I don't only like to look forward and to be a part of Marseille and just to focus on the football and focus on the off-field. Robert De Zerbi saw the opportunity to sign a great player at a discount price and he took it. In case you didn't know, De Zerbi was the manager of Brighton between September 2022 and June of 2024, where he took Brighton to 6th place in the Premier League, qualifying for European football for the first time in club history, and turned some relatively underwhelming players into great talents. Karu Matoma, Leandro Trossar, Moses Caicedo, Mark Cucurella, McAllister, the list really goes on. So with him bringing his knack for creating talent to Marseille, it only makes sense that he would be able to turn around Mason Greenwood's career. And the magic has already started to work. In his Marseille debut on August 17th against Brestois, he played one of his best games of all time. He not only scored two goals, but he assisted at one other goal and even won a penalty in a 5-1 win. He contributed to 80% of their goals. That's an insane stat to talk about. So far as I make this video, he's played two other matches against Stad Rams and Toulouse. Against Stad Rams, he started, played the full 90, and scored another goal in a 2-2 draw. He made a great example that he still has the pace, he still has the finishing ability, he still has the talent. We have to support OM this year because of Mason Greenwood. He is phenomenal and Man U and Eric Ten Hag will regret having him kicked out of the club. When he would face Toulouse, he would continue with his high-flying form and not actually not score one more goal, but another two goals to help Marseille win 3-1. Five goals in three games, he's the top scorer in the gun at this moment, being only two goals behind Erling Haaland in the Premier League. His form is some of the best in the world, and as he moves into his next matches in the gun, it is very exciting to see how well he's doing now. As far as his international career goes, in the past it hasn't gone any further than one single appearance for the England senior team. But recently he was announced that he would switch his nationality to Jamaica, and play under former Man United coach Steve McLaren. In uh, Manchester United training ground about three weeks ago, and find out the reality of the situation and whether they actually want to come all the way here to play for Jamaica. And it is only a matter of time until he starts to ball out in CONCACAF too. There is not a special secret to his success. After all, he was just as good three to four years ago. And if it wasn't for his allegations, he would be much further along in his career. But he is finally back, and he is showing the world that Mason Greenwood could potentially be one of the best footballers in the world. 